Okay, back to this thing. Now, I've let this sit here for, you know, a couple, a few minutes. Not too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very, very stiff brush and my lighter fluid. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to wipe away all the little dots I had. Now, again, using the... I'm wiping in a particular direction where you kind of want, you know, dirt to fall away, rain to fall away. And basically, I'm just wiping the surface with this brush. Cleaning off my brush every so often. Adding some more lighter fluid. And this process, since I'm using the enamel paints over a lacquer clear, clear coated uh, surface, it's, this is not going to destroy my lacquer uh, or destroy my paint job. So using the if, you know the properties of the paint, I can create all sorts of cool little effects like you know like this uh, filter effect. Now once I get done with this, I'm going to dry the part off so that it's a little bit. It'll, it'll show up a little bit better. Um, it might not show up too well in the gloss, but once I uh, flat coat it and uh, kind of lighten this up, you can see the tonal differences. And even even after doing this, I'll show you a different comparison between this leg and the other leg that hasn't been done yet. And you should be able to see a little bit of a tonal difference. You can see like kind of like this, you know, weathering marks. And this is a very, very simple way to add weathering effects. We'll slowly wipe away all the, make sure all the dots are gone. And also notice that I'm doing this leg as a, you know, assembled piece. Because most of the, you know, if I separated it all and weathered the entire pieces, you know, the weathering doesn't look as natural because you can have areas that is like the back of the foot that's completely covered. That, you know, natural, naturally it's not going to look, uh, how is that weathering going to happen? So this is a more realistic, I guess, method of uh, weathering. It's also the lazy way. So you get away with you know, just weathering one piece as opposed to weathering you know five different pieces now effectively this has been done now I'm gonna make a comparison with this other foot you can see that there's tonal differences it's gotten you know definitely dirtier still retains that paint but you can see a little bit of the streaks you know with the different colors and it's a pretty nice little effect. Now this is one of many different, you know, weathering techniques.